Hello, everyone. How's it going? Doctor Incompetent here, and let's play some Death Trash, shall we? Well, <laughs> this is a game that is in early access that I've been hearing about a bit from people on the channel. Just, you know, something that's going around right now, and it's an old-school pixel graphic, post-apocalyptic kind of throwback open world RPG, if that's enough adjectives uh, to describe it. And the developers were kind enough to provide me with a key to try it out, and I'm excited to get going. So let's see what this game is all about. Let's make a new one. Uh, we'll go for standard difficulty. Combat will be challenging. That sounds great. Planet Nexus, centuries after the bleeding. Ooh. Amongst remnants of old civilizations, humanity rests in silent cities, while machines wander, passing judgment. Oh boy. And the outcast try to survive. All right. So actually, this is kind of what I saw from the Steam page, which is like, you make a character and you just, it, it's open, like you do what you want. You make your own adventure and your story in this in this very wide open kind of nightmarish, post-apocalyptic setting. So, choose your character, uh, assign now or later. So we could actually just skip putting in stats, but we can do this. So these are our core stats. Uh, hardiness is health. Strength says allows the better use of melee weapons, better crit. Finesse is ranged weapons. Occultism is uh, the use of abilities that communicate with the flesh, makes you endure higher stages of infection. Cybertech is implants, and empathy is like charisma, kind of. And then we have these skills over here. So, right away. What kind of character do we want to be? Do I want to be, right? I think that's a fair question. And I think, I don't know. I mean, occultism seems like some kind of magic and that's cool, but communicate with the flesh is a little, uh, you know, more sinister sounding than I'm comfortable with. So because um, I love to play spellcasting or intelligence-based characters. Uh, I'm gonna go with Cybertech, and this is like implants and tech abilities, so uh, I'm gonna try this out, and we can just put, you know, two points in Cybertech right away. We can give ourselves some health, and then what else do we want points in? Uh, Hmm. Let's go for a deck space, you know? So it's like, maybe we're using cyber tech, but we can get, like, some guns or something. I don't know, rangy, rangy type of character. Let's, let's do this. All right, and then, um, animalism is a good understanding of animals. Bartering means you get money off. Melee, melee, firearms, small and large, high tech. Uh, advanced weapons, stealth, lockpicking, and pickpocketing. So, some of this, you know, I mean, it's a post-apocalyptic RPG. We've got min-maxing all over the place happening, and I'm feeling like, you know, there's a little bit of fallout here with these choices. There's a little bit of, uh, you know, Caves of Cud happening. Of course, I'm playing Underrail right now, so that comes into play, and you know, yeah, you've got different things that you can be good at. So, um, I kind of like the idea with, first of all, high-tech stuff all day. And then, uh, I just love lockpicking. It's like, it's always one of my favorite things. And then, um, I'm going to try to be good with rifles. So... I don't know, you might not get anything high-tech at the beginning, and now I'm going to feel like a jerk, but that's okay. All right, 
So I could be Mildred here, um, or not. Uh, let's see. Or I could be Jones, Hannah, Max, Mary, or Ellis. Ellis is a good start, and so uh, let's go with a different... Oh, look at that, si like that sweet cybernetic head. Let's see if we can get anything that looks like the channel avatar. We need a beard. We need sunglasses. We need blonde hair. This is good. This is really good. Nothing on the face, though. No glasses or anything, so... I mean, this is like the high-tech version, right? It's like either a sleeping mask, but you can see the eye roving. Oh, yeah, Cybertech. Oh, God, yeah, that's about right. Now, what colors do we have for skin color? Um, we don't really... This, like, pasty white is... We don't have anything that even resembles blue. And so... Uh, I guess that's fine. Cloth color... Yeah, there we go. That's more like... I mean, I guess we can get blue right there. All right, there we go. Okay, okay. So this looks pretty sweet so far. Oh, all right, so we'll just be doctor and comp. And... Or, actually, wait a minute. I could... Yeah, we can almost fit it if we go... No, 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 no. Not fully there, so... Alright, we'll just go with Doctor and Comp. I like it. And here we go, except... God knows what's gonna happen. Alright. Um, okay. So, uh, actually, it looks like you can play with the controller. Okay, I kind of thought this was like a... I don't know what I thought. A uh, turn-based RPG, but it looks like... Uh, huh. Uh, oh, I, it's like an ARPG? I had no idea. So what is this, like Hades? You know, Children of Morta? What is this machine? Looks broken. <laughs> I look hilarious, by the way. I look... Great. I am really pleased with my appearance. Okay. And we'll go in here. And trash. Can't have enough of those. So we got some trash. All right. So we can roll around. Hello. Uh, hi. Welcome, former citizen, says enforcer number nine. It looks like the operation has been successful. Uh, I'm not certain what you mean. Do you remember who you are? Now, yes, I do. Oh, apparently I do. That is fortunate. We still take interest in your well-being. However, you have to leave us now. The danger of a possible contamination cannot be ignored. Please don't try to return to your old habitat. We have put security measures in place to prevent this. Uh, so what happens to me now? Where should I go? I mean, I can't see. It's a problem. My eyes are being blocked by this device. It looks great. It looks stylish. Um, but it actually prevents me from seeing. This is not for us to answer. You're free to go anywhere as long as you don't try to enter a habitat. Sure, why would I do that? I'm going to do that immediately. Here is all relevant info for you in written form in case you forget. And we've got citizenship revoked. We encourage you now to follow the surface integration course. Oh, the SIC. I know it well. But you're free to leave anytime you want, a.k.a. the tutorial. Um, I'll take the course. All right. Just continue towards section one, then. All right. I do 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 Locked. Hmm. All right. Uh, okay. Interesting. I did a sweet combat roll. There's my stamina, that blue bar. Let's get some more death trash. All right. And there's an elevator. And, oh, God. Um, that was the course. Okay, let's see if I can do anything else before I go. Lock picking. Missing item lock pick. I need a lock pick. Somebody. A little help here. I could pick it. Can I come back here? Can I talk to you? Are you cool? 
please maintain peaceful behavior, says the android. Um, you know, it's interesting to call you an android. Just in the sense that, like, uh, wait, you're not allowed to go back to the habitat. You would risk contaminating the other citizens. To prevent this, your life will be terminated if you enter the prohibited zone. Oh, please leave. Okay, yeah. So I've got some kind of, like, deadly virus, or who knows. I'm, I'm the death trash, apparently. Now, androids usually have some kind of human or biological component, but that's fine. Um, yeah, this is not mine. Yeah, it's a lot of blood. Boy, this bathroom. Is that what this is? It looks like a toilet and a sink. It's enormous. All right. So, looks like I'm not yet finding... Uh, I'm just going to check really quick for a lockpick. Okay. Nah, no lockpick. All right. Then let's go. Let's go to the course. Fine. You want me to do the course? I'll do the course. Citizenship revoked. Read it. Citizen, we're sad to inform you that you are unfit to continue living among us. That's a bummer. Effective immediately, your citizenship has been revoked. You have been released to the surface world to continue your life separately from our universal society. Please following uh, the regulations of the free world. Number one, do not under any circumstances enter a settlement of the universal society. I'm going to. Do not reproduce. Oh, man. If you break any of these rules, you'll be terminated. If you need to advice on how to live your life on the surface please ask an integration assistant for more info we wish you a happy life outside of our society okay memorize it oh i memorized it so now i don't have to carry it around anymore how about that all right i'm just kind of looking through my different tabs and apparently i have an unknown brain implant this belongs to you now Oh, God. And I have an unknown affliction. You were cast out of the Universal Society because of this, whatever it is. Okay. Um, resources. Uh, I've gathered this note and trash. So I can craft stuff out of this, but I don't really know how to do anything yet. This is great. I really like the look of this game so far. Okay, interesting. All right. Let's go. What you got for me? Surface integration course. All right, let's, let's see. What's up? Enforcer number seven. The surface integration course is standard procedure to teach you basic survival skills. Good. I need them. Please take caution. The course disables safety limits to prepare you better for the world outside. Good luck, former citizen, and goodbye forever. All right. Thanks, former android. All right. Pick up. Nano health. I got it. I got an... Oh, I'm actually at like half health. Press the right bumper to heal yourself. Okay. Um, I did it. And I healed myself. It took a little time to do that. Pick up the light combat vest. Excellent. Open your inventory with Y. Equip it. So I'm going to just... Um, you can just push the equip button, actually. To throw that on. And let me look at it really fast. It says... Body armor, resistance, blunt, 7, sharp, 10, projectiles, 10. Awesome. Let me go back. Sweet. I love how I'm wearing, like... I mean, it could be a trench coat. It could be a bathrobe. Don't ask too many questions, but it's nice. This probably used to be a bed. It looks like one. Can I sleep there? All right. Flesh? Looks like it's alive. It's the death trash. Makes me feel a bit nervous around here. I guess this is the affliction I got, huh? That's fantastic. This machine looks like it's connected to the door. Please refill organic lubricant. What's that supposed to mean? Select puke with the left bumper. Oh, I've got some puke? Okay. Use ability puke anywhere. What, you want me to throw up? Oh my god. Pick up some of your own puke. Alright. Examine the machine again. Please refill organic lubricant. Well, here we go. Looks like I threw up. Oh, hey, it worked. That's charming. Alright, what do we got? 
medical ingredients. And this is a crafting table. There's some broken tools here. Nothing useful, though. Oh, man. Now, did I miss... I mean, I'm going to go this way. Just want to make sure I fully explore the level. Nice. Got some trash. Don't know what this is. Who would? We suffered a head injury. Ooh, is this a baseball bat? Pick up the weapon. It's a wooden cudgel, a.k.a. a bat. Open the inventory. Um, it does six blunt damage and the speed is normal. Equip it. Close the inventory. And uh, destroy that door over there with X. By the way, so X also, yep, swings this and I can like, we got some plastic trash, break these trash cans. I will destroy that, but I want to check out some other stuff first. I'm like really looking around. Uh, there's some trash in there. And what's in here? Organs. What is this place? It's a chop shop for people. Been here before. Had a great time here. All right, break that door. Got it. Use B correctly timed to avoid damage completely, okay? I don't know. Don't know what this is. You guys are going to try to shoot at me? Oh, okay. I see. You're the training guy. Yep. My combat role is great. Take that, training man. Oh, he got his health back. All right, then. I'm not going to stand here then fight you if you're going to get your hit points back. But I am going to salvage stuff. There's nothing you can do about it. So I didn't go that way. Hopefully we'll get to go back around that way. Pick up the rifle and the ammo. Now you're talking. Rifle. Bullets. Open the inventory. Equip the rifle. Oh, cool. You have a ranged weapon and a melee weapon. Awesome. This says skill large firearms, which I have a one skill in, so I'm basically the best you could be. Damage 11, rate of fire 2, scatter 0, range 11, magazine size 1. All right. Um, and I'm going to go back. Select range weapon by targeting with the right stick. Okay. Shoot all the red lights on the wall. Right trigger. All right. Um... Oh, God. I did it. I've got my gun out, but I can switch back to this, or I can do that. It's up to me. Oh, I need to reload. Um, I don't know how to do that. Um, I guess if I just push the the fire button, the the R two, it reloads if you're empty. Mechanics, good. Loving it. Hi, everybody. How are you? Not guilty. Nice. Uh, is it nice? What is this? Personal notes. I am innocent. Didn't harm him in any way, but I was deemed too dangerous. I refuse to go. Want back. Need to be reconnected. Cannot live without. I'll think of something. All right, let's memorize that. And I guess if I eat this, I get 20 health, but plus one infection. So, you know, I can heal up, but I get a little of the old infection. So that kind of reminds me of, uh, well, what is it? Curse of the Old Gods or whatever. It's another kind of action roguelike. But I don't know if this is a roguelike or not. All right, let's open up. Bam. Bam. Pick up the stealth module. Open the inventory. Open the body inventory. And equip the module. Cloaks you from being immediately seen by other characters. Equip. Got it. Toggle stealth with the left trigger. Oh yeah, I'm super sneaky. You couldn't even dream of seeing me. Please don't turn. You're going to see me immediately. Alright, yeah. Alright, fine. Hi. Oh, God. Well, I guess I don't even need to fight you. I'm going to check over here. 
Yeah. You're being watched. No, you're being watched. Disgusting. 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 Oh, these guys are on me. Staggered him. Plus 15. I don't know what that means. Experience? And we got some trash. That'll come in handy. Oh, man. The rifle is awesome. But I'm not going to waste any more shots on these fools. All right. Meat. It's still disgusting. Fine. We're in the caves. All right. I like it. I like it. Okay. You're locked. And I... Apparently, I, like, did it with some hacking, or I just pushed the buttons. Whatever. I feel like I've been missing a whole bunch of stuff, uh, and I'm embarrassed about it, but that's just, a, you know... The way the ball bounces. I'm in the training course, so it can't be that great. Holster your weapon. Alright. With the down button. I holstered it. Oh, I don't feel so well. Oh, God. I puked again. Blurg. I should get this fixed. Maybe there's a doctor out there somewhere. New quest. Contaminated. Yeah. Looks like someone's living here. Hello? Hi. An old matron. And the fleshy octopus from the cover. Great. Agnes. Hey, who are you? What are you doing here? Could ask you the same. I live here and guard the flesh kraken. That's what it is. It's a flesh kraken. Wow. Well, looks like I'm not sleeping tonight. Now, what are you doing here? Um, I came from back there, the facility. You came through the door? That's working? Apparently. You know about the machines down there? No. Didn't know there were any. Will, will you hurt me? Um, no. Phew, I'm glad. I won't hurt you either. I just care for the flesh kraken. Um, about your flesh kraken. It's not mine. Look, you could talk to him if you want. He's a bit moody these days. All right, leave. Hi. Yeah, indubitably. Grumble. That's a lot of flesh. Flesh, lot, living. What do you eat? Living, small, big. Humans too? Living, I see. What kind of animal are you? Animal? You know, not human. Human. That's me, human. What are you? Animal, human. Okay, I guess that could fit. So what do you do all day? Pondering. About what? Life? Eternity? Hmm, what else could there be? Friendship. Society. Amusement? Aww. What the heck? You have friends? Friends. You. Oh, yes. Friend. Search friends. You want more? Search friends. Alright, I can do that. Probably won't be easy, though, considering your circumstances. So, the Flesh Kraken wants friends, and I understand. You can save the game manually when not in combat. Oh, okay. Save it. Free slot it. Alright. What's this? Memorize location. Flesh Kraken. Hexen finger. Let's gather it. Alright, so I could go back down the caves. I opened the door, but maybe there's more over there. That's actually... I mean, this looks like... You know, the game proper... Before I get real nuts, let's roll back and see what's down the steps. I didn't mean to do that. I was hoping to reload, but this is a single shot. All right, what do we got? Awakening. Click. Hi, buddy. Oh, I made it all the way around. Welcome. We've talked to you about your status. We encourage you, but you're free to leave any time. Um, I'll take the course. All right. So, okay. 
So I loop back around. That just goes back here. Interesting. Okay. Well, I still didn't find a lockpick. What can you do? We'll get one. We'll craft one. Let's see if Agnes can be friends with the Flesh Kraken, if that counts. Aggie! You can stay here if you want. I don't mind. The Kraken needs friends. You think? I mean, he's stuck here. I suppose he might like to have someone to talk to other than me. He can't get out? No, and I don't know how they got him in here in the first place. I just take care of him. Do you know of any other beings that are similar to him? I heard rumors about an eye as big as a house and mountains of flesh, but I don't know where they are. Maybe you could ask around Taurus. It's to the east of here. All right, thanks, Taurus. We're going to go to Taurus. Okay. And it looks like at this point... The game is, you know, opening up. Okay, so here's... If I push up on the D-pad, I see a little map. And there's me. Um, down puts my weapon away. And he says he doesn't feel like it. Looks like the flesh kraken, indeed. Alright, so let's kind of just explore what we can. Alright, let's go down this way. Oh, there's a, a zone... I'm outside. Wow. Cool. Kraken Temple. Outside. All right. Can't have enough of those. So we got an achievement just now called Fully Integrated, which means I must have just completed the, quote, integration course, which, you know, uh, wasn't the most helpful, but... It's nice that they at least have the token gesture of the integration course. They're not, like, just exiling you. They have some really, really perfunctory, marginally helpful course that they send you through. And this probably allows the, the big wigs in the Universal Society to sleep at night, while the rest of us, no wigs... Talk to the Flesh Kraken. Honestly, I like the Flesh Kraken pretty well. Alright, let's look around. What do we got? What's this? Trash. Man, I find a lot of trash. This is great. Use up to get a rough map of the area, including the exits. Indeed. Oh, this person is gone. And, yep. Packaging material and your citizenship got revoked. I've been there. Um, yep, been there. Can be sold. Can be sold. All right, so some items are just sellable items. Hi, are you cool? You don't look cool. You look like a jerk. You hit me. How could you have done that? That's what I needed. All right, we got some problems here. Take that. So you can stagger them up to a point, but then, like, you can't just perpetually stunlock them with your weapon. They will just be like, hey, I don't care. Now, I probably shouldn't shoot anything like this at all, but, hey. Alright. I'm exploring. But yeah, I really have to say, this was not what I was expecting the game to be like. I was thinking it was going to be you know, more like a, a Fallout or an Underrail style RPG. And I have to say, I like it. I mean, it's horrifyingly disgusting. Animalism, 33% chance. Oh, does that mean like they could have been cool with me and then I attacked them and, and botched it? Like I could have befriended them and they would have traveled with me. Oh, who's this nude man? Hey, old man. Naked man. Ha ha, look at you wearing clothes. So serious and all. Um, you having a good day? The best. Here, look at my dancing skills. Oh, look at those moves. It's how I celebrate the sun. Now off you go. Maybe you're interested in 
A big, meaty friend? Oh, you mean that big flesh monster in the temple? Nah, not interested in any relationship with it. He's like, I'm out. I'm nude. And I just do what I do. Leave me alone. So they seem to... It's a temple to it. Like, they worship it. By the way, I'm hurt. Long knife. That'll come in handy. Ooh. Four sharp. Well, maybe it's better than... Wonder, I mean, it does less damage, but maybe it's faster attack-wise than what I had, so it's preferable in some way. I don't know. Are you a baddie? Yeah, you are. Oh, I've been killed. I should have healed, but I didn't. Okay, well, you start here. What do I lose? I lost that knife, I'll tell you that much. Oh, I got it back. I just lost my pride, maybe? Um, I do have some experience. I have 30. Okay. Well. Hi. It's me again. I'm back. Maybe, like, one of their attacks is so big that you can't dodge it. They have some, like, kind of, like, trash and memorabilia. Good. I do like memorabilia. I don't. All right. <laughs> Scout commands and a knowledge fragment. Oh, is this a teleporter? Memorize location outside. Yeah, it is. Look, I can just go back to the flesh kraken if I want. Take me there. Let's see how this works. Yeah, it's a little quick teleporter. Great. Uh, let's see. This says, travel west past the festering gorge and look out for any signs of the big ones. Report back if you find one. Don't approach it. Be careful. The mutants seem to be very aggressive lately. Something's riling them up, and it's probably going to get worse. The eye. Memorize it. Um, memorabilia grants five experience points. Oh, great. Well, I don't know why I wouldn't consume that. Ooh, this gives you 50. Oh, it's like, maybe these are like, uh... Maybe I shouldn't consume it. If this is a roguelike, or if this is a souls-like, I don't know what it is, or, or what kind of a game it is, then... If it's like a Dark Souls type game, then you don't consume this until you're going to level up. Because if maybe when you die, you lose some experience, then you want to have the hard currency of this lying around in a form that can't be lost upon death. But I don't know if that's how the game functions. I'll tell you what. Let me look at the map. I have to say, I really like this. I think it's uh, completely unique. Uh, disgusting, but also intriguing, and I'm pumped to see more of the game and, and find out more and, uh, you know, get some implants and keep cruising beyond just stealth as an implant. Everyone, I'd love to know what your impressions of this game are so far in this first video of the look. What do you think? Have you played it? Are you interested in this game? Do you want to see more? What are your thoughts and impressions? Let me know in the comments below and we can chat about the game. And I am really looking forward to checking out some more of this and see what happens as we kind of just like uncover the map and meet some of these charming people who also have either been exiled or just living out here doing their thing. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care.